Node.js asynchronous workings explained with the help of some muffins. One of the advantages of Node.js is its speed. This is thanks in part to its asynchronous workings. But wait a minute, what does that even mean? As is often the case in life, baking can help. So let's make some muffins. First, we have to prepare the batter. And while we're working on that, we can't do anything else that requires a lot of concentration, like reading a book. However, once the batter is done, we can put the muffins in the oven and move on to something else, like taking care of that sink full of dishes. In other words, we don't have to wait for the muffins to finish baking before starting a new task. This is working asynchronously. Don't worry, I haven't forgot that we're actually talking about Node.js. In Node.js, a server might receive two requests that both have to talk to an external database. You can ask the database about the first request, and while the database is thinking, you can begin to respond to the second request. This is working asynchronously. While Node.js can squeeze a lot out of one CPU core, other programming languages actually allow you to do two things at once. So in terms of baking, these other programming languages would allow you to buy more ovens so you can make even more great muffins. To learn more about Node.js and Express, check out Express in Action for Manning Publications.